Promised us about Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Let's all talk about Halloween, Silver Shamrock. The Boneyard from 1991, directed by James Cummins. Dare to enter, try to leave. Children turned into zombies wreak havoc in a coroner's building with just a burnt-out psychic, an experienced cop, and two coroners to stop the madness. I don't even know how to begin to talk about this movie. I first It was first put on my radar by Rebecca McKendry, Dr. Rebecca McKendry, back on the podcast Shockwaves, one of my favorite fucking podcasts, R.I.P., uh, used to have back in the day. I mean, it feels like back in the day. Now you have the great Elric Kane, um, along with co-hosts uh, Ryan Turek and Rob G. And they would always go around in a cipher talking about movies that they had watched and seen. And that's how I was finding out about like the li- stuff, all sorts of stuff. And the Boneyard was something that was put on my radar, and I just I hadn't seen it. I think it was put out a while ago. It was put out by like either uh, Scorpion releasing or Red. What the hell is the name of it? Red Code, Red something. Red, the, the two brothers that that, that put out movies. Um, and now it's gotten a lot more of a wide release. I think it's been put out several times now on Blu-ray. And you always see it associated with that killer poodle mutant creature. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, there's like a weird psychic lady and a cop. And they go to a coroner's office and there's a a guy who died and his like bloodline was responsible for taking care of children, zombies who have to be kept fed so that they don't go crazy. These zombies are horrific, horrific looking. I mean, absolutely just disgusting, horrid little things like really the, the, the special effects are fantastic. And then of course, yes, there is a poodle monster, a giant mutant poodle monster during the end. Like I said, I was watching this at like late last night and like, I don't even know what to say. I'm so speechless. I, like I was hard to, it's hard to verbalize what I saw in, in that movie. Um, <laughs> I really don't know what else to say. Definitely worth a viewing. Definitely worth a viewing. It very grim sort of subject matter that's not treated you have like you have that uh the bumbling the bumbling uh assistant cop to the main cop and yeah they they go in there with the uh the 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 psychic and it's kind of you know what's kind of refreshing to see um an older middle-aged woman sort of in a central kind of action-based role you know as a protagonist character you don't typically see that but it's present here in the boneyard. Just one of those weird little, it's like, it's amazing how the boneyards from 1991. And yet, like, I didn't even hear about it until maybe 2019. You know what I mean? Like it, there are still movies out there to be discovered. And that's really nice when, when they are. Um, I think that's, I think that's it. Uh, I, what did I rate it? Let's see what I rated it. I don't even, Oh my God. Don't tell me I have to sign in. Yeah, I got to sign in. Hold on one second. I gave The Boneyard two out of five stars. So check it out if you want.